a liar, and if you are a woman, you are telling the truth. That's why the Torah teach us all the way. And then when you live with a man and you want to separate, there is a very easy way. You can go to the police and only say, only say with words that he hits you or not even touch you, just threaten you. You don't have any, uh, you don't need evidence and you don't need anything. But then the man get to the police station, a normal, a normal person who get uh, uh, handcuffed, shackled, kidnapped from his own life, okay, from yeah. his own security to the police station and find himself under the 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 uh, title. under the title that he is a victim, that, that he is a criminal, okay, exactly. and he hurt his wife, a wife who uh, give birth for their children, and he never do anything. But what can he say? He is in the minimum away from his house because he is violent and the woman said the truth. She don't need any evidence, no one hear it. He shouted at her, but no one hear. The children was asleep and she was alone. And then she called her mom and told her mom, mom, he threatened me. And then she have another evidence. Her mom said that she cried on the phone. You don't need any more than this to convict the person, okay? Mm. That's the way in Israel, because in Israel, um, more than the brainwash, the system is there is there is most of the cases there is only one judge, okay? Yeah. And the assumption is the same. Women are victims, are weak, and they say the truth because why a woman lie to the police station? Yeah, why I would also she? say why should I lie? Because me myself, Tali Gottlieb, I'll never lie. I'll never say a bad things on another person if it's not a true. And even if there is something bad between me and another man or women, a woman, I'll speak with them. We don't have to run to the police. We can uh, have a solution between ourselves as an adult. Mm. Okay? Mm. But that's the system. And in Israel, the, it's such an easy way to get a man to prison. Because they call him, he is danger. That's the word. You hear it every day in court. He is danger. There is much easy to me as a lawyer to get a um, robber away <laughs> yeah. from prison that a normal person, a man, that a woman says something against him. So, so we, no one of us said that there is no uh, women that get hurt. There, there are. But I don't want anyone to pay the price of the system that women always say the truth and the men are violent. I can't accept it. As a woman who believes in equal, okay? I believe that I equal you and a man. And I can do whatever I want and a man can do whatever he wants. We must believe it. If we keep on brain this brainwash, um, if we keep this brainwash without stopping it right now and say, you are a man, you are as good as I am, as a woman, and you are as good as a parent as I am. That's what we have to say, because we want to educate our company, our children. I don't want any of my children to think that if he is a man, he is good at go to a war, and he's not good as a father. And I know my friends, and I know my husband, and I know, and, and, and I know many men, which are great parents. So why, if they want to divorce, we don't we don't say the same. Why then they have to see their children only twice a week, twice, two days a week? Why? I can't understand this because I yeah. am better. What do you think about the Merkas Kesha and how they're dragging men into the, you know, the Merkas Kesha because of these claims? It's the most bad things I can think. If I am a child and my parents divorced, I want to see my father in a Merkas Kesha? I, I want my privacy with my parents. I want to feel secure. When you sit, when a father that a day before lived with his own children and was perfect father, now he's not anymore because his wife said something without evidence. And even if she said something that it's true, but he's not danger to his children, why can't see them in his own house? Why? Because we don't trust men. That's why. We don't trust them. 
They're the message to start is so, with. <laughs> the message is so bad. I don't trust you. You were a parent day before, but not anymore. I, the social worker, will watch you all the two hours that you are with your children. What can you do with them? And I will give you more than What that. can you do with them? You okay. can't speak with them. Touch privately. them. No, you don't, you, you don't, you're not allowed to touch them. You can't them. touch them, to take them out, them. hold so, them. Look, there is money involved. You understand this? Mm. They get money for each parent and child that meet in the Merkaz Keshev. In what country in the world it's the same? It's so easy here in Israel to, uh, uh, upside, to, to get a man upside down from what he really is. Okay, it's so easy. You go to the judge and you make a, a and you write to the judge, social worker, who doesn't know the man. He speak, she speak with the man, and he say, I didn't touch my wife. I never was violent. And the woman said, he was violent all the years. I didn't complain never, and no one ever see, but he was violent. So the report to the court, we don't know. He don't uh, take responsibility for what the woman said. But it's not good. He will see his children because he's danger in Merkaz Kesher. And, that, and a man that t a minute ago was responsible for himself, was apotropos of his children, need to see them in Merkaz Kesher under the eyes of a social worker. A guard. What? It's like having a guard. No, it's like a big brother yeah. behind you. And we need... And it's our basic right to be in private with our children because we are a private person. I agree. And they took it from us by the brainwash. And it will never change. Why it will never change? Because there is um, organizations here in Israel, uh, women in organizations, that feels great to make us little. I am always a victim. And I'm always weak. And I'm always hurt because I can't stand for myself. So there are women who can stand for themselves, but not all of us. So don't put me in this title that I am victim and I'm weak and I can't say what I want or what I don't. Mm. And it's not only in the family. It's not like just this. It's in sex relation. You are always a victim. A man has to take a uh, con um, council uh, as come up. Uh, Agreement. A man, there is many ideas here in Israel that a man has to take the agreement uh, in a very end. Uh, he has to write it down because then he finds himself in prison. Because I, I went with you and that was, was okay, but now I, 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 I regret. So you find yourself in prison. It's all a part of the way of the system that you are telling the truth and I'm not. And you are, and you are as a woman, much more better than I am as a man. Does that make sense? It because does. it doesn't make sense to me. It because does. I feel I know men, and I have friends, men and women. And I don't care if you are a woman, if you are a man. I want to, you to be interested to me. If you are passionate to my life, and you are, in, and you have what to say to me, and you are interesting, I don't care what's your, uh, what you are a woman or, or, or a man. That's the way we have to educate our children. False claims, how, do you know what percentage of claims are false? We don't do, because I don't have organization for men. We don't have the money for this, okay? If you take me for my place, for my work, like you do everything every day from morning till evening, and you put me in a university, I will do you any statistic you want. Because I'm telling you, as a lawyer for 16 years, and I'm represented in criminal law, hundreds of men that was a victim of false felony, okay? And it's no, and it's bad. It's very bad because, you know, we can't afford ourselves that a man sit in prison for nothing, okay? We can't, afford, we can't allow this to ourselves in a educate, educate, how do you say it? Educated society. No, yes, Enlightened society, society, or a modern society. We're in 2015, you know. We can't allow ourselves that in a modern society there is such a difference between men and women. It's not realistic because you have 
men friends and women friends and we can do whatever we want and I want the message to be that you can do and reach whatever you want and don't take advantage of your um, migdal sex of your sex if you are a woman to uh, promote your self interests okay there's a lot of billions of dollars coming in for women's organizations here sure. billions of dollars. I know we don't have the money that the organization the women organization has it's not a secret okay because when we want to to say something they shout our mouth we don't have the um, bama we don't have the stage to say the truth not my truth many people true but in Israel you can say what you want there is not a really freedom of speak okay that I is am, so true <laughs> I am the, I am in majority I, yes okay? yes and many men and women things alike but don't have the courage to say it out loud and I'm telling you that there is a uh, uh, price a bad price that I'm um, pain. pain because I am saying these things but I don't care because I don't see bad things and get uh, going on in my life I pay the same price <laughs> okay and I'm out. proud of you that you are paying this price because I want to believe that among us there are good people and we are good most yeah. of us are good Yes. That's what I want to say and that's what I want to hear. And if I'm good, I'm not lying. And if I'm good, I'm not taking advantage of my uh, sex or whatever. Do you have any idea uh, on the men's side as well, because it's a question asked of me, about the mezzanot, the child support, how many men are going to prison for, for having to pay m way more than they earn? Look, <laughs> there is a situation that a man earn 8,000 shekels. And then he got divorced. He has to live, right? He has to eat, and he has to pay uh, rent and etc. And then the judge says he has to pay a mortgage, like a low mortgage, a mezonot, uh, like seven thousand. So what, uh, judge? You want the man to live in the street? So wh what can he do? Okay, because the woman is weak. She don't have to go to work. Why not? You have the same power and the same ability. I want a normal uh, uh, state. Say to her citizens, go to work and be responsible to your life. Don't be depends on someone else. It's one unit when you are a family, but you are one unit when you are divorced. She often does work, but the Jewish woman's money is her I own. I know. It's her own. No, I know. You know. So my uh, conclusions is first of all to say out loud and to describe the bad situation in Israel and the uh, uh, easy way a man can get a, a man can find himself in prison just because a woman said okay that's first of all and then change the law because by the law it can happen because if the law said that a woman says something to the police and it's enough to arrest someone and to convict someone it's a bad law it's very bad it's law. a bad law it's not balanced and we can balance it if you really want but you know, people from outside funding, the Jewish people outside who love this country, don't I believe... I love my country. I, I love this country. I love my country and I love people. They don't believe I, this. They don't believe that what you're saying or what I'm saying or what the men are saying, they don't believe it. They think it's just a few crazy You know, crazy I will take you and I will lives. give you an example. When we hear on a woman that really get raped and we see that she wears something very provocative, we say to ourselves, she wasn't raped because it's the easy way. We want to push it away from us. So we find um, Terutzim excuses why it's happened to this woman. Because if we don't have the excuse, it can happen to me and to you. And we are afraid. So we can't accept the situation, the bad situation that a man can find himself in prison in such an easy way. So we say it's not true. Because to say it's not true, it's an ex uh, excuse. And we push it away, this bad situation. We can't believe that it can happen to my son, to my husband, to my friend. It can happen to anyone. Mm. And that's what I'm calling from here and I'm saying, it can happen to any one of us. If we want to live in a normal society, a democratic society, we have to say out loud, we are equal. That's the main thing, as far as I said. It doesn't care if you're a woman or you're a man. You get a child to this world. 
It's your duty for life. Even if you are a man or a woman. I'm not better than you just because I'm a woman and you are not worse than me because you are a man. We are equal. That's my belief and I really believe in it. Okay, so there is bad fathers and there are bad women, uh, moms. Okay, nothing is perfect. But the, the base thing is uh, that we are equal. We have to understand this. So why do so many men have Yukovitz here? Yeah. I mean, it's like... Sure, wow. because, because I'm a woman and I want to keep on with my life. I have an apartment with my husband and then I go to the police and I say that he threatened on me. And the men go outside my house and I live in my house and everything is the same, but I want to stay with the same um, in Ramat Chaim. The same lifestyle. Lifestyle that I guess that I used to. So I will take the house I will get mezonot and I will threaten my husband that if he doesn't pay me, I will do him, uh, he can't go abroad. And if he crunches uh, shekel late, I will arrest him because I have the power. Just because I can, I do it. I don't want anyone to do something just because he can. I want people to um, consider. No, להתחשב, to, לא לקונסידר בשנייה, um, להתחשב במובן של לחמול, איך אומרים לזה? ה-FPTI? לא. I want people to be patient for one and other. Okay, yeah. even if I have some, if I have paid with something, but in this month I have a problem. So you arrest me? No. Ask me, and I will tell you why. And, and we can speak to one another. We don't have to arrest, not me, you and not you me. Do you hear of men who have to pay ahead? You know, they have to put money down for the future to be able to leave? Because I hear this all the time. Yes, there is such kind of thing. In order to... Um, to um, blah, 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 blah. Cancel. To cancel uh, the, the situation that he can go abroad, he pay money, he deposit money, because the woman wants to keep on with her life. You know why? Because, sure, the brainwash, the man doesn't want to to pay. He ran away abroad because he doesn't care of his children. I can't accept this also because you can go abroad for one week and you don't have to have uh, to be embarrassed in the, in, the airport, in the airport because you can't go because he didn't pay one shekel. Or he, might, or he might not pay one shekel next week because often it's, it's not for debt, no. it's for future, it's for guarantee. It's a we, have, we have to remember that divorce is not the end of the world. It happens every day. You become married, you have children, keep, um, keep the respect. 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 Your father of your children, the father of your children. What they educate to your children if you treat their father in a bad way. They will do the same. They will do the same. You have to, uh, to, you have to, you have to show them self, Self-respect and respect no, no, for the no, no. father. Example, you need to set an example. If you want your children to be better than you, don't show them that you are behaving bad way. Don't show them that you are behave to their father in a bad way. Because they will do the same. Because you, they see you doing it. So if you really want to change, speak differently. Speak equally. That's my belief. You're taking a big chance talking out like this as a lawyer in Israel, aren't you? She always you? did. She always did. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you are taking a big chance. You're a care. woman, I you're speaking care. out for, for I men. I don't care. You don't have to like me. Not everyone has to like me. I have to like myself. And that's, <laughs> that's why I care. I want to sleep good at night. I don't want to be afraid of person, this person or another person because I said something that he, maybe he doesn't like it. I don't care. So we need to get some funding because men are killing themselves. We know that men are committing suicide. No. And they're decent, ordinary, good, regular you know, guys, you know? You know, my husband, he's very, invo he is, uh, very um, involved in my children's life. If we were the world, and I would take the children from him, it's the end of his life. He speaks with them every day. He eats with them every day. They're, they are his life. So I can understand, men, that a day before was a great servant, you know, it's not anymore. And they took him the most dear thing. How can you live with it? I also find it very difficult to live with 
adult my children. I don't know what happened to me. Someone saved my children for me. I really don't know. Well, there's a lot of that going on as well. <laughs> we know because the Rebecca. it's very easy. Because uh, the Rebecca. The Rebecca are Rebecca. taking children. Yeah? I, I agree with them. Yeah, they are. Because it's so easy here in Israel to take children from their parents. Okay? On a word. Not more than a word. That's it. This is something else that people don't believe from outside that the Rebecca can it's take easy. a child it's from a good parent. It's easy like that. not to believe. Yeah. Instead of taking the parents to a treatment and to say to the children, okay, there is a problem, what we solve it? Solve it. No. We take you from your parents. Is that normal? And put them in some terrible places. I know. But it's also money. Yeah. It's also money, and it's also if you uh, it helps to the statistic that men are violent, and we take the children. So don't believe that it's happening in Israel. Keep on living in your dreams because it's much more easy than seeing the reality exactly like it is. Yeah, let's just keep everyone suffering in silence, shall we? It's not wrong because yeah. we don't see it, so it doesn't exist. We yeah. don't believe it doesn't exist. It exists. It does exist. It's the best. It does exist. We have to understand it. In order to live a better life, we can shut our eyes. We have to see, we have to think. Don't get any uh, brainwash just because someone said it. Thank you. Wow, isn't she gorgeous? That's a gorgeous one. Oh, I love it. Salut, salut.